and they follow me. John 10, verse 27. We should follow our Lord as unhesitatingly as sheep follow their shepherd, for he has a right to lead us where he pleases. We are not our own, we are bought with a price. Let us recognize the rights of the redeeming blood. The soldier follows his captain, the servant obeys his master. Much more must we follow our Redeemer, to whom we are a purchased possession. We are not true to our profession of being Christians if we question the bidding of our leader and commander. Submission is our duty, caviling is our folly. Often might our Lord say to us as to Peter, What is that to you? You follow me. Wherever Jesus may lead us, he goes before us. If we know not where we go, we know with whom we go. With such a companion, who will dread the perils of the road? The journey may be long, but his everlasting arms will carry us to the end. The presence of Jesus is the assurance of eternal salvation. Because he lives, we shall live also. We should follow Christ in simplicity and faith, because the paths in which he leads us all end in glory and immortality. It is true, they may not be smooth paths, they may be covered with sharp, flinty trials, but they lead to the city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. All the paths of the Lord are loving kindness, and true to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. Let us put full trust in our leader, since we know that, come prosperity or adversity, sickness or health, popularity or contempt, his purpose shall be worked out, and that purpose shall be pure, unmingled good to every air of mercy. We shall find it sweet to go up the bleak side of the hill with Christ, and when rain and snow blow in our faces, his dear love will make us far more blessed than those who sit at home and warm their hands at the world's fire. To the top of Amana, to the dens of lions, or to the hills of leopards, we will follow our beloved. Precious Jesus, Draw us, and we will run after you. And they follow me. John 10, verse 27.